hi guys and karibuni sana to my channel i hope you guys are fantastic today i'm very excited because today i'm going to be making sweet and sour pork i know you will ask yourself how is this healthy it is very healthy by the way because i'll show you how i make it uh, just to make sure that for example the pork does not have too much fat uh, but it's also something that I use for my cheat day because I like to use honey on it also. So can we get on it? I show you how I do this. I do sweet and sour pork with some nice creamy mashed potatoes. Wow. What do we need for the sweet and sour pork? Of course we need pork. We will also need some cumin seeds. Black pepper is a must where you have a sweet and sour pork. Good old curry powder. Curry powder is just fantastic. Me, I love curry powder. Garlic and uh, ginger, but this I have added uh, turmeric. Some honey from Jorin. Jorin honey. I love this product. It is very good. Jorin has wonderful honey that is very pure. Some soy sauce. And of course, some nice salt that I've put right here. Onions. Beautifully cut uh, for, for the pork. Pour the pork. Don't add any more water. Uh, what we want is for it to cook by itself uh, and then uh, and then uh, the, the fat will start coming out of the but then I do my natural garlic, ginger and turmeric together I do the salt and then cover Uh, next, we're going to have the mashed potatoes. We definitely need potatoes, well cut. Tutakata ziku endogo kidogo. We need uh, dania. We need uh, grated carrots, finely grated. You need a bit of uh, yogurt. You can use natural yogurt or you can use milk. It's really your choice. We need some uh, butter or uh, you can use margarine. You need some nice salt. And of course, garlic, ginger, and turmeric. The reason why I'm cutting these uh, potatoes is because I don't want them to take long. Zive uh, kwa haraka. They can get cooked well and well done inside. And you want them to be the same size. So some salt for the mashed potatoes. Uh, you want to boil the, the potatoes first. I want to put in some garlic. Throw in the, the potatoes. Don't put in too much water. Let the water just stay like that because after it steams, you'll be able to turn it around. And cover and give you a toast time to cook. This is a potato mash. Don't ask why it looks like it has band-aids in the top of the hospital. What are you going to do with my mom? I'm going to go to the hospital. 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 I'm going to My pork is on low heat. Mm, starting to brown. So just give it time to let all this oil, all this fat from the from the meat brown as you can see here. That's the idea. So the potatoes are doing well, just continue to give them time. Let's move them around so that because you didn't put too much water, they can all at least get steamed or get into the water and, uh, and get done. But they'll not take time just because you cut them into quarters. Mm -mm -mm. It looks nice. And you can see all the oil that I'm talking about is right there. This oil, you can use it in uh, making other things. Like right now, I want to use it for 
the for the mashed potatoes with the mashed potatoes like i said you could use butter margarine it's really your choice being a cheat day it could be something that i can also use like i use this oil for the for the the mashed potatoes so we'll give the pork time to continue to brown and to the meat itself is going to be crunchy instead of being oily so we'll check on the on the potatoes you can see some of them have started uh, crumbling meaning they are almost done let's just check this ones not yet you can see it's not going through well so we sort of push them down and give it just a little bit more time but you can see some of them are crumbling like you can see so much more oil pork has a lot of fat so you don't want it to be to make you feel like you know nauseated because of so much fat a lot of people don't like pork because of the fat uh, but there's always a way of doing it you can remove all this oil and let it be crunchy so that you enjoy the meat itself and remove the fat for something else you can use it for the mashed potatoes like i said i'm gonna do you can also use it some people use it for chapati to you know kufanya ile kukanda chapati i don't know who does that you can it is to i mean mimi mpenda kutumia hata nini mafuta ya nyama unatume mafuta ya nyama ama ya kuku kupikia kitu kingine so that's what i do but uh, that's why you see me trying to remove all this oil because i know that it's not going to waste hata mboga you can actually make mboga for <laughs> unakula mboga ambayo iko na harufu ya nyama na ugali when things are bad sukuma wiki na harufu ya nyama <laughs> uh, remove this because it is done ukitaka kuikula ikiwa hivi it's perfect it is well done it's really your choice i like to add uh, onions on it uh, for for that particular bit but uh, today i've with seeing how it has browned i've decided i'll not just add uh, onions i'll also add the uh, tomatoes some tomatoes a little bit of uh, curry for the for the mashed potatoes so this is a bit of the oil that has remained i'll not remove it i'll just add the the beautifully cut onion let's give them a bit of time they can soften so those are your potatoes looking very nice and yummy <laughs> and yellow because of the turmeric and half a cup of yogurt just half not too much like that i uh, remember our oil make sure that i just put a little add some grated finely grated carrots don't add all of them fast just add a little the coriander which is dania mash this without the greek yogurt that i have used uh, rather the natural yogurt you can also use greek yogurt it makes it very yummy add a little more of the carrots you want your your mashed potato to have uh, the color of the carrots and a bit of the coriander uh, these are stems mostly but you know you can use the the leaves and cut them well i like the stems i think i've shared with you before that i love stems i don't really shy away from uh, 
putting them in anything that I'm cooking. So this is ready for my family. Uh, so I decided to add the uh, tomatoes. I realized that I'm not intending to make a gravy for, for the mashed potatoes that I'm going to be using with the potatoes, uh, rather with the pork. So it's always good to, to make it gravy and tomatoes are good for that. So we'll give them some time also to get done. Uh, because of the salt that we put in the in the in the pork we'll not add more but we'll add a bit of soy sauce like i had intended earlier just to make the gravy nice and brown and sweet because soy sauce tends to do that and it also has a bit of salt so that will work for it very well so let's give the tomatoes time to puree to become like a puree of some sort Well, just put on it a little so you can get into a pile. This is also what I do when I'm making skumawiki or any other greens, kienyeji. You heat on the tomatoes so they can pulp up a little bit quicker and still retain the onions being soft and not completely done that you cannot see them like that. Remember our pork, pour it in. So just, just stir them together so the, the pork and the, the tomatoes and the onions can marry. Zikue kama kitumoja, zikue kama marafiki, chanda na pete. Yeah? Ivo. That looks fantastic what else can you add on this i think we can add the little the the, the dania that we retained and, you know what are many stems enjoy the stems remember i said they love stems the stems have are more crunchy they have more taste than even the the leaves themselves that's why i love the stems so just give it another one to two minutes and this is basically done for people who love dufu, you know makikuyu and I know people love dufu. So, we have this. This is water from the potatoes. You can use it if you want. As for me, I can use a little. But this is not really a must. You just pick it from down so that you get the one that is, uh, you know, that has the potatoes. Here, to ni chakula ya kikuyu, lakini tunaipika na... Bougie style, bougie, bougie stuff. Mm? And you can do that, and it looks good. So never throw anything. Ato kitoa magic toka kwa kwa maharagwe, my friend. It will come in handy somewhere. So there you go. The black pepper, of course. I wanted to have. Uh, some honey, some yummy, yummy honey. And that's enough. It is done. So someone asked me how I get to do the presentation from last week when I did it. And uh, I just wanted to show you how I, I line my, my bowl. You put in your, your food, but this is not necessary. This is just for presentation. If you want to do a little bit of presentation for your family, for your guests, it's not really necessary. But I mean, hey, sometimes you just want some nice presentation. It makes people feel like they're so hungry they want to eat. So that's what you do.
and drop it there. And that's it. That's how you do it. You put in some cling film, put in whatever you're putting in and push it into the plate. And that's how it comes out. So push this in. This is for me. So like that. Yum. Yum, 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 yum. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, this is some very yummy, creamy uh, mashed potatoes with sweet and sour pork. And you have seen how I've done it. I hope that you're going to be able to do this for your family or even for yourself if you are alone. I mean, you can always enjoy Ahmad. So this is so nice and I hope that you're going to do this for yourself. Please remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much for all the feedback that I get from the things that I've done before, like the red cabbage uh, salad. I got a lot of reviews and a lot of you asking me questions. The osubuko, a lot of you ask me so many questions and thank you so much for those questions. They make me know what exactly you need to know and what exactly you need to hear from me. And I really appreciate hearing from you because it is very important. So please like, share, subscribe, share with your friends. Share with your friends because those are the ones who are going to give me more feedback, right? So I really appreciate that. And God bless you. Take care of you. Have a fantastic day. And you know, we watch a nidi enjoy nature kuleangu. And I hope that you're going to get to enjoy this kind of meal one time soon. Uh, you have the video to check out what you need and you do it. Sindio. Sawa sawa. God bless you. Ciao.